This house wasn't the target of an airstrike. But just look at the damage that was done when a Russian missile hit a university building on the other side of the street. Repairing the gate is probably pointless. The university has been hit twice already and Yuri reckons it will be again. But it's about pride. After six months of daily shelling, barely a street in Mykolaiv is untouched. Plastic sheeting covers arena's windows. It just about does the job for now. But when winter comes, it will be well below freezing here. Marina here has been telling me that she's got, she's got two windows in her apartment. Both have been blown out by explosions. To replace one of those windows would cost pretty much the same as her monthly pension. And so the choice, very simply, is between food or warmth. The two women have been friends for more than 20 years. They have each other, but little else. An airstrike on Mikolaev blew out the rear Bova's windows onto their sleeping granddaughter. This is what their third floor apartment looked like afterwards. The windows are now boarded up, which gives them some protection. But of course, it also blocks the light, so their electricity is on more than normal, and that costs them money they don't have. She shows us what little they have left for the month. They couldn't even afford bread this morning. There is no end in sight, they know that. Every morning, people in the city venture outside to see who is alive and who is not. That's been the grim reality of life here for six long months. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, in Mykolaiv.